What's up everybody? Rich Redman here. I play with the Jason Aldean Band and do Nashville sessions. And today I'm here to talk about drum tuning and how to get a killer sound out of your drums. I have found that the best way to get a clean and consistent sound out of my drums is to use the TuneBot. I use the TuneBot whether in the recording studio or on the road. The TuneBot is like a guitar tuner for drummers. It's amazing. It helps you tune to an even and optimal tone and allows you to retune to your favorite sounds wherever and whenever you play. Recently, my friends at Overtone Labs have introduced a new TuneBot. It's called the TuneBot Gig. The TuneBot Gig features the signature accuracy of the original TuneBot, but has a cool new look, is easier to use, and is even easier on your budget. The TuneBot Gig is a simplified version of the original TuneBot and has all the essential features you need to get a great drum sound. Let's check it out. The TuneBot Gig has two buttons. This smaller button turns the TuneBot Gig on and off. This larger button is used to toggle between two modes, the absolute mode and the difference mode. As soon as you turn the TuneBot Gig on, you will be in absolute mode. Let's strike the drum. The TuneBot Gig measures the frequency and the nearest note, as well as if you are sharp or flat. If I hit this button again, we'll find ourselves in difference mode, which is used to fine tune the drum. But we'll talk about that later. Okay, now it's time to find out the fundamental pitch of our drum. Be sure to hold the drum or put it in a snare basket or tom stand like I've done here, as long as both heads can freely resonate. We grab our TuneBot, clip it easily to the rim between two lugs, turn the TuneBot on, strike the drum in the center. We have a readout of 106 for our frequency and our nearest note is G sharp. What is a fundamental pitch? The fundamental pitch is the dominant and lowest tone of a drum. It's our starting point for the tuning process. Assuming you're happy with the fundamental pitch of your drum, it's time to move on to fine tuning. By fine tuning, I mean matching the pitch at each lug. We're looking for a similar tone within one or two hertz of each other. I've set the drum on a drum throne. We're looking to muffle the bottom head. By muffling the bottom head, we mute the fundamental pitch of the drum, making it easier for us to hear the pitch at each lug. Okay, so now it's time to fine tune our drums. I'll go ahead and see where we're at. These two sound good, we're way high here. I do like the sound of the drum at this particular lug. I'll use that as my target pitch or my reference pitch. I'll go into difference mode, and you'll notice on the TuneBot gig that the lower number gives us a readout of our target pitch. The upper numbers tell us if we're above or below that target pitch. So, I'm gonna crank this down a little bit to match the target pitch. Much better. This is so easy. Simply repeat the process for both the top and bottom heads. So now that we know how to tune one drum, I want to show you how I tune my drums. The 18 inch floor tom. 66. The 16 inch floor tom. 76. The high tom. 104. My snare drum, 190, and my kick drum, 35. And the best part of all this is that you get to have fun finding that magic number for your drums and your playing style. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy working with your new TuneBot gig. For more information on the products and artist tunings, check out www.tune-bot.com, and we'll see you soon.